end this video i'm going to be sharing with you five passive income ideas you can potentially make a lot of money from and contrary to what a lot of people say you need to dedicate your time and expertise at the early stage if you want to make a lot of money now a lot of people talk about passive income as if the minute you start the money keeps rolling in but no trust me i'm here to tell you that it doesn't work that way so if you don't mind that and you still want to find out what these five passive income ideas are then stick around with me until the very end because i would personally be sharing with you the passive income that made me millions of naira so let's get right into it <laughs> Hey loves, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adi Shalami. Should you be joining us for the very first time? I make videos related to finance more often than not. So if those are the kind of videos you are interested in, then make sure you subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Also turn on the post notification bell right beside it so you can get notified when I post similar content related to what you're seeing right now. So the first passive income you can potentially earn a lot of money from is by saving your money in a high interest savings account. And yes, you heard me correctly, save your money in a high interest savings account. I know this probably sounds cliche, but have you ever thought about how much the banks are deducting from your account disguised as charges? They tend to remove this money every month and all of this money accumulates and it means a lot of money over time. Also, have you heard of something called inflation? What of devaluation? If you've not heard of those two words, bro and sis, you must be joking. That is why I would always advise people to save their money in a high interest savings account. That way, your money doesn't depreciate over time. And as compared to regular banks, like regular savings accounts, you can get as high as 15% per annum on some other banks just by saving your money. Yes, if you're in Nigeria, Vest is like that. Kuda Bank is like, bank, is like that. There's also a bank called... VF, VFD bank, there is carbon. Most of these are usually fintech applications and not the regular commercial banks. I'll advise that you move your money from your regular savings account to those fintechs app. Okay, so just put it there and let it grow over time. You can keep your emergency fund there, your sinking fund, and literally any type of money. Just make sure whichever application you are using allows you to withdraw your money whenever you need to. Because like I said, it's a savings account. It's not like you're investing or anything the second one on my list is to create and sell printables now printables are digital products that can be downloaded by customers or literally anybody from any part of the world and this is not as tasking as it seems and like i said you need to put in your time and your expertise at the early stage of a passive income that you are trying to create for yourself it's not as you you start doing it today and then the money will come so you want to set off on the right path and to make your life easy and to make all of this easy all you need is a free version of canva but if you're feeling generous of course you can pay for the full product where you get access to unlimited resources okay but the free product would get you the free version will get you literally where you want to be until you've grown to a certain level where you feel like okay i can now afford to pay for canva pro i personally have never paid for canva okay i always use the free version of canva right so all you have to do is go on to canva.com search for all of these things and you can just design them do not copy someone else's design okay if not you can be charged for copyrighted i mean if you never want to upload it on whichever web website you've decided to sell you need to be aware that there's something called copyright product if you upload what someone else has already uploaded you'll probably be flagged and your store could probably be deleted so try as much as possible to be unique to be innovative and to not copy someone else's design when you go up to canva you can see a lot of resources and you can just imitate tweak them a little bit you can even use ai to design some of your images that you want to sell and a very popular website where you can sell digital products and printables is etsy etsy is a very popular website a very popular online store where you can sell all of these and anybody can buy from literally anywhere in the world the third one here is to start a youtube channel i don't think a passive income video is ever complete without us mentioning you starting a youtube channel and i'm going to tell you that starting a youtube channel is not a child's play i have 16,000 subscribers and i struggle to have 1k views 
that is how hard it can get. And I've seen some people that probably have only 1K subscriber and they consistently have like 5K, 6K views. And that is mind blowing. That is why I'm saying that YouTube is not as easy as it, as it's, as, as people say it is. And even though YouTube is obviously not meant for everyone because not everyone can put their face out there, which I get, what I'll advise you to do when creating your YouTube channel is to create a faceless YouTube channel, bro and sis. This is eating the market real hard. I've seen a couple of videos where people talk about them making thousands of dollars just by creating a faceless YouTube channel. But my life is already very busy. So I don't think I have the time to create a faceless YouTube channel right now. So I'm not going to do that. But I know and I've seen videos where people talked about how much money they've made just by having a faceless YouTube channel. So you might as well just consider that. Use apps, use AI to get content. For example, chat GPT. You can just go on to chat GPT and say, okay, give me um 10 video ideas. But obviously you need to pick your niche. You don't want to upload travel content today, upload beauty tomorrow, upload hair tomorrow, upload fitness. Okay, so just pick your niche. Be very good at it. Take your time. And then over time, you should get your de desired result. Okay, another thing... I would say is that for YouTube, you also need to learn how to edit, okay? If you don't know how to edit, you can use um website like Skillshare. Or you can even learn from YouTube. Every day, everything I know today about filming, editing, production general, I learn mostly from YouTube, right? So you can just make YouTube your free resources. You're welcome. The fourth one here on my list is to rent out your stuff. I want to believe we all have stuff that are valuable to us, things that have values and things that we hold dear to our hearts. But unfortunately, most of the times we don't use all of these things that often. But again, because value is subjective, what is valuable to you is probably not valuable to someone else. All you have to do is look for people that are in your industry. For example, I'm a YouTuber. I have a lighting setup. I have a camera. I have tripods. I have SD card, I have all of these things. What I can do to make myself passive income is by renting out some of this stuff. I only film once in a week, by the way. So the other six days I have my camera lying down here doing nothing. Do you know how much money I can potentially make if I rent out my camera for six days in a week? Obviously, there has to be like some procedures where... um. There has to be some procedures to follow so that the person doesn't damage your camera. There has to be like a guarantor and every other thing. There are also some apps out there where you can actually list your items and you can rent it out. For example, here in Nigeria, you can use an app called GG. So basically, if you have items laying down in your house, doing nothing, you can just rent them out. Okay, it could be anything. Just look around you. There's always something that someone needs that you can always rent out. You feel me? Yeah. And the last but not the least, which is something I have personally made millions of naira from, is drop shipping. Now, the way drop shipping works is that you necessarily don't have to come in contact with whatever it is you are selling. Okay, it goes from your supplier to the consumer, right? So it it jumps you. All you have to do, you're like the middleman, and you're collecting the money. And trust me. When I tell you that I have made millions of naira, everything, most of the things I have today was, the money was gotten from drop shipping, if that makes sense. This camera right here, I bought it in 2021. It was from drop shipping. Aside from the things that I bought from like maybe 2022, most of it were funded by my husband. Right. But other things, most of the things that I've had on my life, I got the money from drop shipping, no cap. Everything that I've done, the money was from drop shipping. And a very good website you can use for this is Alibaba. If you want me to make an entire video about dropshipping, because now the game has, you know, expanded. There are different ways you can now do the old dropshipping, which I've probably never even gotten into. If you want me to make an entire video about that, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to do that for you. So there are several apps out there that you can use for your dropshipping business. You can use Amazon, eBay. Etsy, even if you are in Nigeria, you can use Jubia, Didi, literally anything you can think of. All you have to do is look for a supplier, a very good one at that. Register on these apps and you are very much good to go.
all right so we've come to the end of this video if you find this video helpful at all do not forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on subscribe button down below also turn on the post notification bell right beside it so you can get notified when i post similar content related to this one so thank you very much stay safe stay fabulous and i'm going to see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>